basically all you did was call out Errol Lewis because he put out a video of the subway mocking anybody that's afraid of being on it. And he said, oh, look how dangerous it is. And a guy was like playing like a trumpet or whatever, a saxophone. And so you tweeted out like a picture, a, a, st a statistic, a fact that he has ulterior motives. He has an agenda. His wife her company will benefit from the congestion tax. Correct. And so that's why he is pushing for it. And that's what people need to understand. Everybody that's put, who would push for another tax? We are being <laughs> taxed to death right. because there's an agenda. And that agenda is usually green. It's money. It's extra zeros to their bank account. And I don't understand how he can call himself a journalist. So you tweeted that out and you said, watch, he's going to tweet back out an article. So I was watching this unfold. <laughs> And he tweeted out a, over what, an article from, what was it, 2001? 22 so, years. He, he did exactly what I said he would do, this idiot. Exactly. Right. And all you did was call out his ulterior motives. Like, hey, if you're going to push for congestion tax, you should reveal why. Because your wife is going to make money off of right. it. At least be honest about it. You know, don't try to make it seem like the subways are not are, are safe because they're not. There have been eight killings so far. There have me never been that many killings on the subway in recorded history. A kid, a 15-year-old boy was shot in the chest on Friday. Over the weekend, a 26-year-old guy was shoved into the path of an oncoming train. And here you have Errol Lewis who's this like political journalist, the number one guy next to Pat Kiernan on New York once making a mockery of anybody that's afraid to ride the subway because the guy has an agenda.